screen and we are going to talk about each of the matches um before that we're going to talk about our thoughts on certain things we're going to do our predictions we're going to do our recaps of the series um some of the more boring series we're not going to talk too much about but the good ones we are going to talk about and go in more depth guys stop telling me to pay him a hundred fucking dollars that's not happening uh, <laughs> Maybe put, that case, put that shit to close i mean come on man i mean how much more of this uh I mean, but yeah now but whatever yeah, yeah apparently it's 200 um yeah. but yeah starting the day what was your guys' overall thoughts on the uh i don't know the day the production the team or any of it i mean i'll go first my honestly the production was not too great in my opinion really like, coming from i mean this is my opinion this is high expectations because i used to watch a lot of cs i don't know how many people watch cs but the Blast Pro like production for CS was like next level. And I was yeah. expecting something for Rocket League out of them because that's kind of their thing is like their production. And their media day was literally just a eight by eight turf square cutout. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm looking them. at it right now and it looked cooler in real time. Um, but also I'm curious is, is the land, like what's the land going to be at? like their walkouts and stuff? Because that could be totally different, right? Yeah, yeah I mean, we have no hopefully, clue. Hopefully they can like save themselves there. But I mean, I was going to say too, like I, Chicago, like blast from here like they have very good cs production and yeah. i don't know i mean i think they're just still kind of getting the feel with rocky league and i think they're listening as well um but they definitely still have a little bit of, i mean bro they gave they gave streamers drops and shit like they're starting to do more for the community like, no, they're I, definitely stepping so. up. I mean they got I, the I copenhagen think... decals too recently mm -hmm. those were kind of fire did you like those I mean, they look heavy as shit, the, but they're kind of cool. I think I think the idea is cool, and I think I know a lot of people talked about them, uh, talked about this on Twitter, and I know I mentioned it. I want to see them take a percentage of the sales and either put that towards prize pool or give that back to the orgs and players. I think that could be a really good way to get people. Well, isn't that what they do in other games? Well. Yeah, exactly. Like uh, CS, I think it's fifty percent of their stickers um, go straight to the orgs and the players. Yeah, but is that different um, from decals? Like, don't because like players get a percentage of decals, no? Uh, is that not like stickers? Player, I think player That's percentage of decal. Based. Yeah, it's it's contract related. Yeah, I know I know orgs orgs get them, but uh, like uh, for CS, there was a team. I think uh, I think their name was uh, Bad News Eagles, and they made like two or three CS, CS majors in a row, and they didn't have an org, but they got a huge cut of the stickers because everyone gets a cut of that. Hmm. Yeah, because I saw I saw like a guy on um that Williams Resolve team or whatever, some man. I don't know the guy that could own or something. He was like, it'd be cool to give us what you told us you were going to give us a while ago or something like apparently they were supposed to do that where they were going to give decals and stuff and then give percentages of it out of the prize pool of the players and then they took it away apparently he said it was kind of weird mm -hmm. i um, mean rocket league is kind of known for like the right now it's not a good look but like the delayed prize pool payouts <laughs> so i can only imagine yeah. uh decal payouts or like yeah no you know. shit i mean are you guys backed I mean, up from anything like flitz you're did yeah. you say crl i i i'm owed like thousand plus stuff like three or four different CRL things but yeah i mean it's like i don't know C CRL like that's a that's a whole different thing i don't want to get into because like the only thing i will say is like this time last year like CRL like that that split i guess for CRL would have been done like a month ago and it like we still don't have an announcement for it so CRL is kind of chalked to begin with but i think the only thing i'm owed right now is like this very last split but i mean that that always takes a while yeah, I mean, me, Rizzo, and Turbo are owed, what, 400 bucks each? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, but, um, yeah, overall thoughts. I thought you said you thought it was kind of underwhelming, Reed. I don't know. Flitz, did you say you liked it? Uh, I think I think they're going in a step in the right direction. I don't think they're quite there yet, but I think we can acknowledge that things are getting better. Like, I think especially what I remember specifically, I don't know if you remember in the first regional, but the first NA regional that Blast did – there was this one point where they didn't even, they like turned off fly cam or something and their camera just sat still <laughs> I know in this one about. spot in the middle of the field for like three minutes. Yeah, I know. Um, they didn't do that today though, did they? Uh, no, no, no. I'm just, oh, that's what I'm saying okay. though. It's like, they're taking a step up. So I think, I think they still have a little bit to go, but I think today was better than what they've been doing for the regionals at least. And I'm excited yeah. to see what they do for lands because I think that can be, I think that'll be a big formation I of mean, how I feel about Blast. Did you see, um, did you see JNAP's tweet, you guys? Of his oh my yes yeah. yes that, that is cut. nuts his pc was fried let me that show you guys nuts. chat he had a pc that he was like what warming up on it's like five fps he was hard this to is fight. what he this is what he was seeing i mean that's bad i mean usually yeah, I mean, it's not this bad you can it, quite literally count the frames i know i, think, yeah. I actually think i could sit here and count them i think his graphics card literally exploded <laughs> in that pc <laughs> 
I mean, yeah, I mean, overall, though, I don't know the player's perspective on the whole situation and, like, if they had, like the areas they're staying in and stuff, but it seemed like, I don't know, it didn't seem too bad from an outsider perspective, but, uh, yeah, I, I mean, definitely could do rooms. more. I think they're good. Yeah, I'm just more so looking forward to the land stuff when they bring up all that yeah. shit. Okay, well, the thing is that I would have to say why I'm disappointed is because if I asked you to pick the two broadcasts from last year, like a last year major or worlds, whatever, a LAN, and yeah. then this year, would you be able to even tell a difference? That's the thing. Like, there's, that's why I'm disappointed. I mean, you're not I don't wrong. think you can even, like, every, the media is the same. It's just B-roll of a team, individuals, and then they go show each player on camera before their match, and then everything's the same. The desk is the same. The interviews are the yeah. same. Mm -hmm. There's nothing, it, there's nothing yeah, new. Yeah, interviews, I'm, dude, so interviews, like, I've not been a fan of. I feel like every post- Dude, I thought like the interviews the today thing. were fucking buns. Yeah. I did not, I, I did I not, just, I don't know, it was Leafex doing them, right? Yeah. I don't know yeah. why, it just didn't seem like it had a, I don't, I'm not trying to be a hater, but it just, the vibe felt weird. I mean, I will to be real, I don't know what it is, but like getting interviewed, doing it before, bro, they're always the worst questions. Like, I don't know what it is if they can't ask better questions, if they're told that, if they're like being told to ask, you know, generic questions, but the questions are never, it's, how did it feel after that win? I don't yeah. know, bro. It felt like ass. Like what? Of course it felt good winning. Like, I don't, it's, what do we say? They like put you in a corner where you can only kind of answer one thing almost. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah. it seems to be a broad question. It's like, you know, what's going on in your head right now? And it's like, you just won like an intense OT. So it's like, I feel great, man. So I know some of them you kind of have to ask. They're a little generic, but you have to ask them. But I, I think. I don't know. I'd like to see a little bit more, like, like more specific questions about the series, I guess. Yeah, did you see uh, the Drafino interview? Uh, I didn't. Oh, wait. No, I did see that one. That was right? kind of sick. after they beat... Reed, you was that after they beat during that, Reed? Yeah, yeah well, they... Uh, dude, I don't know if y'all, many of y'all in chat saw it, but Drafino was, like... He was, like, a kid in a candy shop. Like, they yeah, won, so happy, and he was, man. like... You could literally see him, like, happy. Like, it, that was that was pretty cool. I thought that was the best interview I've seen in a while. Like, those ones... Also, do you think a lot of it is the players? They just don't, like, get involved in it? Like, they don't show enough? It's, like, just on them for not showing uh, personality? I mean, I'm going to just be real, man. There are some Rocket League players that, like, they, they cannot do anything PR-related to save their life. It's it's not great. But, I mean, there are some definitely... There are definitely... Like, most players that take the interviews... Like, I feel like Chicago's, like... You know, I feel like Chicago... You kind of usually do media stuff, kind of. I mean, you stream. You know, you do stuff like that. Like, I feel like if you put Chicago out there and you give him questions to work with, he'll give you something back. Like, no disrespect, yeah. but, like, if you yeah. give Evo a question with any sort of thought... I mean, we heard fucking, yeah. yeah, a couple times. Like, that might have been the worst interview in esports history. Yeah. Um, but, <laughs> he was the goat, though. Yeah, any other thoughts on uh, any of it? Of the uh, production? Were you reviving? Nah, I think we covered everything, to be honest, production yeah. side. It was a good day one. Nothing went super wrong. There's obviously delays. Yeah, like, there, was see, the delays. Gonna there was the that delays. There was the delays. That's just going to happen. But like the stream didn't crash, they didn't fuck anything up. So like uh, overall, you can't be that mad. But there was just there was nothing special. If we're being honest. Yeah, um, I'm curious to see like the players there what they think of like because like also real quick, I know I'm going a little too long on this, but like um, what do you think of the players waiting like hours to play their matches? Like Vati and them played right off the rip to start the day, and then they didn't play again until like six hours later. Like would that piss you off as a player? Uh, I mean, they literally I mean, waited like five hours to play. Or someone, is that someone's gonna get screwed? I think most of the time. There's like it's because if you do like one of the later matches and then you make them pay play right away, then it's like they complain. Um, so mm -hmm. Falcons. I mean, they definitely could have ran the Falcon series earlier because Falcons was like the second match of the day or the third. Yeah, they were the third. So I mean. I don't know. I think there might be some rules or stuff where, like, you can't make a team play a certain amount of time after they originally played. But yeah, I mean, I, I know, know in like, um, piss somebody off. I know there's in like, no, there's no winner. Yeah, exactly. And I know in esports, like, um, Optic, like their COD team, they always make them play last, like every time, and it's like they hate it because you know what I mean. And then on Champ Sunday, sometimes they have to play first because they want them to clickbait them last. You know, so. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know. I think it'd be annoying waiting as a player like five hours to play a series, but shit, that's just the way it goes, probably. I mean, I think if a player is going to get annoyed, they have to understand that it's 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 all production. I mean, the very first, like what I remember at least, is the very first round two series was Elevate and Limitless. Like they're just getting the, you know, with all due respect, they're getting the minor regions out the way. Yeah. They're saving like the best for last. And I get it. But as a player, I think you have to realize like, you know, the people watching and the production is kind of what gets you paid. 
So even if you are upset, you kind of just have to bite that bullet. No, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Um, all right, let's jump into our next thing. Let's do, uh, let's talk about some player ratings. Um, what did you guys think of, uh, any standouts today that you were like, holy shit, when you're watching, like, this guy's, like, this guy's a beast or anything. Anyone shock you, like, popping off off the chart? Uh, I would probably say, I mean, I mean, Nupo. at the top is going to be pretty good, like, mm -hmm. That Our, we knew Nupo doing on land is very impressive. Bro, I want you to explain yeah. to these guys, like Reed, how like how these ratings work. Like, what's like a good rating, what's average, and what's like poor. Okay, so I mean, I would say the average is one. So anything like above a one point three is like insane. Yeah. So obviously, there's gonna be series where a player could have like obviously a really if you know say they get swept, they could have a point four, a point three, which is obviously really bad. But obviously, if they're on the side of sweeping and destroying teams, they could have like a 1.7, yeah, which is obviously insane. But to have like o over the course of an event to put up like a 1.5 out of Nupo, that's pretty insane. Like, I mean, his know. average, what did he have? He had a 1.8 pretty much against Elevate. To be fair, right? We know that most teams are going to score a lot on them, like Limitless and a couple of the other teams. But even Gentle or um, yeah, even Gentle Mates, he had a 1.2, and they lost three to one. So that's pretty damn impressive, no? No, yeah, 1.2 is like a good series. Like, obviously, it doesn't mean like he played insanely well and perfect, but he was yeah. basically getting his. You know? No, mm -hmm. I agree. Plus, what do you think? Anybody? Uh, there's like two that immediately. Like, it, dude, mind. it can even be bad. Like, any players you're like, whoa, I did not expect him to have that bad of a day. Like, I, I don't really. I I didn't see anyone because where I, was like, I got oh, one person sucks, that but... um kind of noticed that jumped off the chart. Hear me out. There's definitely someone. At Look the at the bottom. To be Look about. at the bottom. I mean, for real. I would have never expected going into land, Daniel would drop a point four. I know they only played two series, but you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, he's played eight games and didn't score a single goal. Like, that's just yeah. not real. Like, Wait, did he not? Did he not score? Did he score no. against Shinji? No, he didn't score a single goal. Really? I, I saw that he didn't score in, in that first series, but... He did not score a single goal today in eight That's kind of nuts. I'm not going to lie. Especially coming off like that Jeez. last regional, he was going insane. Yeah, I mean, one person who really stood out to me was uh like Lo I thought Lost played out of his mind. I thought Lost had like a nuts day. Yeah. Um, especially like I think against Game Five, um, I think it's Vitality. I don't think he did that much against Vitality in Game Five, but like one to four leading up to that, like he was just like leading the charge against that team, and I mean that's literally the defending world champs. And then this one. I didn't watch as much, but Banana had literally scored five goals against Gen G in game one. I think that's like the most yeah, he, on land like tied ever. Yeah, tied. And then and then they played um they played uh the other OC team pioneers and he just kept that momentum and just kept rolling. So I mean those two players definitely impressed me. But I was really surprised with Loss. I thought Yan was gonna be obviously Yan had a good day, like he's up there with a the yeah. one eight, but I mean I, I thought Loss was the best player on, on Furia today. Dude, I mean know? go ahead, Reed. Yeah, I mean like Lost. If there's there's a lot of teams where you could point out a player and you're going to be like, if you tell me they're going to have a really good land that player, it's instantly going to change the, like dramatically change the placing of that team. Because Lost, like Drafino and Yan are both gross, like probably, mm -hmm. you know, top two in their region. But like when you have Lost, they're like maybe quote unquote worst player mm -hmm. and he's dropping like a 1.3 and having the best like, you know, land of his career so far. Then you're gonna be like, okay, well, Fury went two now, and it'd be like that makes sense, you know, that adds up because Yan's always gonna play well. Drafino is probably gonna, you know, do his thing. But if Yost or Lost is dropping, you're gonna be like, okay, well, I could see why they beat Vitality. I could see why they're a threat to win because you have your like quote unquote worst player, you know, stepping it the fuck up. That's gonna be it's gonna look be a good at that time. dude. One one point four goals a game almost. That's sick, dude. That's yeah, nasty. What's weird about Lost is like, dude, watching him play, the guy literally just like it looks like he doesn't get out of Super Sonic. It looks like he's running around with his head cut off. Mm -hmm. It's like, I, yeah, it's like, I mean, when you play against him here, Reed, is it like the same? Who would you compare him with? Anybody like an NA? Uh, like who just flies? Is he like an, an Ares or is that a dumb? Yeah, team? I'd probably say like an Ares. Like, but yeah. Ares, I don't know. Lost is Lost is a fucking maniac. Like. Don't get me wrong, he's definitely an idiot sometimes, but like he's definitely more, you know, he he is more reasoning than people might think of him just flying around. Like everything he does is like, you know, probably talked about as a team. They want him to, you know, probably be get people off the ball for them, just fly at challenges. 
Yeah. Do all that good shit to help the team play better. Yeah. Um, I think my like yeah, I think my biggest shock of the day was Daniel because like I said, like I don't know, bro. Like that I going into the major, I probably had him as like top three player to watch. Like I thought he it, I know it's only one day, two series, but Jin G, you know, they went to what, game five, right? Yeah, they lost three two. And he had a point three. Like point three, it's like you're damn near invisible. I mean, who do you put if this was twenty four hours ago? Yeah. Who are the bet your top three players in the world? Because Daniel's probably in that, right? Oh like, no, I would have I would have yeah. Vati, Daniel, and shit. I mean, maybe Zen or I don't know, just a basics person. Yeah, he's I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know if you agree with me on this, but I feel like Daniel had the best split out of everyone on G two. Like, oh yeah, for no, sure. Yeah, like, he was down. playing out of his mind. Like I also I didn't realize like he had the worst stats out of everyone. Like not even just G two, yeah. like the worst stats in the entire day one. That's that's shocking to me. He dropped a point three against Shen G, and that's like. That's a little bit concerning, I'm not going to lie, because it's not really, like, it, when you're facing a team you're comfortable against or, like, you know, they probably have a good game plan against because they play them so much, and you're dropping a point three, I feel like it means something, like, could be off, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. Com- whether it's confidence or, like, it's probably confidence because all those players yeah. is just, like, confidence-based players. So if he's dropping a point three, that means he's, I don't know, he might be a little bit timid where he's, like, not going for the shit he usually might do. Maybe he's not controlling the ball as much because he's not as confident in his play. There's something got to be going for a point three for a player like, like yeah, Daniel. No, you're not that's wrong. insane. That's Especially insane. too is like that point four is is taking into account the quote inflated rating against Limitless because that's obviously like a worse team. But like he didn't do anything against Limitless, so like you know they didn't do anything. He didn't need to, right? Yeah. It doesn't matter. But against Gen G, a team that you know regional one and two or qualifier one and two, whatever you want to call it, like. I thought he did very well against and G2 kind of slammed. And then Genji's very much picked it up. So big props to them. But Daniel dropping a point three in that is is wild. But surely, surely he picks it up tomorrow. I don't, I don't think I don't think we'll see a, a quiet Dan again for the rest of this major. Yeah, no, nah, I'm with you. Um, any other thoughts you guys got, or do you want to jump into the next? Mm, I think we go next, probably. Yeah, I'm sure. Um. All right, so the next thing we're going to do, fellas, is chat. We are going to talk about um, the – we're going to recap round one um, of the uh, upper or whatever it is, and then we're going to do the round two lower matches. We're just going to kind of skim through some of them, and then we're going to do the round two high. Um, some of them we're not going to talk too much about. We'll get those out of the way real quick. We'll give our minute or so, two-minute thoughts on um, some of these quick series, and then obviously some of the better series like the LG we'll talk more about and give our actual thoughts. Um but yeah, starting off, we had Carmen Corp 3-0 in Limitless. I mean, did you guys expect anything else? No. <laughs> Just straight uh, up. I mean, I'm I'm surprised. Uh surprised they only lost by four in in, in uh in game three. That's a good fight right there. Yeah. I mean, that's just the best that's the best team in the world versus versus Limitless. What do you, you think know? of Limitless? I mean, I think I mean when I was on gaming, we get to scrim them a little bit. And I think individually, they're honestly not like as bad as people make them out to be. Like I honestly think it's it definitely sucks with being from South Africa because you can't really play any other regions like South yeah. Africa can, can just Q and A, but SSA you're queuing EU on like 120, 140, like 140 ping maybe. I don't I don't I don't, I don't know if that's right, but they're not really close to anything. Um, so I think the fact that they can play majors now is really good because I think Sweaty and to die for and even and even Snowdor like all three of those players are like pretty solid individually. So I think just give them a little bit more time and hopefully they don't uh. They don't keep drawing KC in that first round because that's just that's just brutal. Yeah, you're not wrong. I don't. I mean, do um, y'all go ahead. Do y'all think that Limitless wins a game at a major this year? A game. Look, I'm telling you right They're now. They're 06 already, and they play <laughs> LG tomorrow. So I'm not. I'm not trying to. I'm just asking the question to people. I, do they I, win I hope, a game? I hope it's not against Lumen. But I think an NA four seed is going to lose to Limitless next major. <laughs> oh, next, not, not this one. Not this one. I think Rattles is coming for blood tomorrow. He's gonna get his get back. Yeah, they do. But next them. major, Limitless will get a win. You heard it here first. They're gonna get a next win. Major. Not a, not a series win, just a game. They're gonna get a game. Do they have any competition over there? Uh, Besides, the I mean, Young Money Clan that just got banned. Oh yeah, I mean that's a hot topic. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, oh, well. they won't have to worry about Young Money Clan for a year. But uh, r- rumors, you know, rumors are saying that they're going to to APAC next. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, I was like, they're yeah. doing a world tour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know, but um, I mean, Limitless is, they kind of clear everyone. Dude, they're, so, they, I will say they weren't as bad as I thought they would be. Like, I'm dude, not going to lie. I don't watch any. Took a game off OG. Yeah, yeah. I don't watch any of their gameplay, but they were one of those teams where like, 
going into, I was like, dude, are these guys some like fucking bots? Like not trying to be an ass, but I was like, are, but they honestly played some, I mean, OG, they played closer. We'll get into that later, but they were better than I thought, to be honest. Yeah. I feel almost bad because like they're destined to get these horrible seeds because you know, they're SSA, like they, they, they should be getting these horrible seeds, but yeah. they're almost instantly starting out. Oh, one, like respectfully, I don't care how good limitless are playing. Like there's very few teams in the world that can beat K Corp. Yeah. So they're kind of like destined to go. Oh, and one, and they played pretty solid against OG. I think, and I, I think once people start to give them a little more, I think they just need that first, that first win. Once they get that first win, they'll have that confidence and they'll be like more prepared for these further series. But that gap is closing. Like Limitless actually is catching up to some of these other teams. Yeah, so it, far, it is weird. I agree. But they're definitely getting better. And I think people are starting to realize that a little bit. All right, moving on. We got um, the next series, guys. We're going to run through a quick uh, of round one, the quick ones. We're not going to talk too much about. So the next one we got is BDS Elevator. Reed, what's your thoughts on that? Uh, I mean, shout out to Kevin, Sphinx, and uh, LCT. Good vibes for sure. But, yeah, you're not wrong. They're, they're not competing, unfortunately. Yeah. Cool guys, cool guys. I'm sure they're having a blast. You know, they the series was somewhat close, but they're they're never. Or yeah. they're never winning that series. Maybe a game. Just yeah. Fun. Were those games, Um, let me see, what were the scores of those games? 4-1, 5-1, 3-2. They took a game to OT, but yeah, I just don't yeah. see... I don't know. These teams just seem like they're not bad, like I said, but they're just not. It's like I, I just hate the series you go into and you know the damn outcome already. Like I wish that that was like no longer a thing in Rocket League, but it's still a thing like mm -hmm. seven years later. I think that's always gonna be a thing in like everything, you know, yeah. other sports, other esports, college sports. Like it's just like you have better teams than you have worse teams. I think a lot has to do with like confidence too. Like uh, especially like if you're like a 16 seed playing like a one seed or something. Like it's I think like it's hard to like. Like deep down, you kind of know, like, you're not supposed to win this, you know? Yeah. I mean, like, at least, I don't know, especially in, like, situations like this where they're the hard underdog. I will say, though, I think, I know we're not on the series yet, so I won't go completely into it. Yeah. Elevate looked pretty solid against Rule 1. I didn't watch the series. Bro, I don't that, this uh, one, go ahead, say his name for me. The Sphinx. <laughs> Sphinx. Not, not, not Spinex or whatever you call yeah, him. Yeah, I did call him Spinex earlier. Um, I mean, it's justified. But Sphinx, um, that kid was pretty good. He's so good, man. that kid is not um he was like the one person like low-key putting in the work for them mm. um all right next one let's go into g2 versus i hate their new uh just kcp pioneers bro quick trip yeah. is so lit bro but i mean that what looks, is quick trip looks, it's like a gas station Do you have like racetrack near you is it like a a bucky's no because like i don't know like i don't i don't have a bucky's near me but i'm talking like is it like a big can everything it's like it's like uh it's just like a gas station and it's also got good food indoor they're like in it you know it's okay, just cool it's it's quick trip dude it's lit yeah because i didn't even anyways, recognize the queue but i feel like i feel like the only surprising thing about this is dan didn't score like g2 sweeping i feel like most people had that yeah i agree um yeah i thought minimum if they don't three to one it then something's up um power and Genji. i think the only thing here was i tapped on it because they had two streams going on once they had an a and b so B stream, you know, you're not gonna be able to catch the match, but I'm tapping over because there's like something, a delay or something in the, the A stream. And I'm seeing them getting their ass kicked six to three. Um, that was a little bit shocking to me. I didn't know that they were that good. Um, to even, I know they three-peated in the regionals, but I didn't know they would actually, I mean, it kind of scared me and then they lost the next three. So maybe I'm overthinking it, right? I think Banana Head had like the best game of his life. <laughs> like no, no dish, but like five goals in one game is insane. Like that has to be. The best game of his life. And then after that, like, it was like the Gen G that we normally see. They scored 13 straight. Yeah. Um, and just kind of, just kind of rolled. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. Read any thoughts on that? Yeah. B head came out swinging, uh, for power, but Gen G, like, woke up after game one and was like, oh, shit, we're playing a major. So they, like, started. Where did B head come play. from? He's been in OC for a while. No, no, I know, but like, was he on a different team before? He's on Pioneers. Yeah, he was uh, on Pioneers before. Pioneers, that's what it was. Yeah, because that kid, oh my god, he was, dude. He's also like stone cold low key. He would score a goal and just be like in his, you know what I mean? It was like he was like yeah, locked he, in. He, yeah, no, he was next level locked in today. Um, all right, I think that's all the. Um, we can start going into more details with it. Um, starting off, we had mates taking on rule one. We had. So this is the first series of the day on the A stream for those that missed it. Um, they won 5-2 five, five, over Rule 1. Then they won 3-2. Then they lost a close game. Then they went a four-minute overtime. Um, but, yeah, what was your guys' uh, thoughts on these teams? 
Uh, to be honest, Gentlemates looked decent. They looked good, but if anything, it kind of rule one disappointed me a little bit. Uh, I kind of expected it, but Nupo or Nupo, yeah, however you pronounce his name, uh, is kind of the carry of that team, like offensively, and they don't really have much variance or like to their offense. A lot of it's just him creating. So I, yeah. I don't know. I'm kind of just waiting for them to like. I, I don't really think they do much this tournament because Ahmed's not really the guy he used to be. For like, he kind of just he doesn't really do too much. No, so I, I'm I for him agree. to pop off. And then like Ocala's kind of just the defensive guy who kind of like hasn't really you know evolved outside of like you know being super defensive. Yeah. So I just don't really see them doing too much. Like when they just kind of have a one man army like waiting to. Like just waiting on him to create for them as a team. Yeah, Flitz, what do you think of it? Uh, as much as I hate to admit it, I did not get to see this one live. But That's I just not. A, I mean, you saw the quick chat doing that, fellas. Uh, I mean, look, I, I just I'm gonna be honest. The one one series that I didn't see, but what I I did see highlights, and I completely agree with everything Kago said. Like Nupo had an incredible day. Second series, he was still like you know, um, second series like they played elevate, but still he was looking very solid. Um, but overall, like rule one is, it mainly seems like uh, Nwapo, Nupo, however you say his name. Um, and I mean, Alpine's a good, Alpine's a good team. Like I feel like I expected them to to kind of come out with this one, and they did. I mean, I, I will say, I almost like I didn't like make these pr public, but I thought M80 was going to, or not M80, M80 Alpine. I thought they were going to sweep. Um, yeah. I honestly, I, I like them a lot. I think I think Juicy's really good. Um, I I, just, I think that whole team's really good, but. I don't know. I just, I just don't. I think Nubo needs a little bit of help, and I think Ahmad and Khaled can give him that help. I think they just need to step up. I mean, can I throw some real shit out there? Yeah, sure. I think, I don't think like Reed kind of touched on Ahmad. In my opinion, hasn't been that guy for like a couple years, and I don't know if in Khaled. I don't. I think he's more behind Ahmad. Is that a crazy I'd take? I no. I'd agree. I'd agree. Like I just don't think they've been. Um, I don't think they've been that good. Nupo dropped a, what was his average? He had the highest average of the day at a 1.5 rating. In the series they lost, Ahmed dropped a 1.1, then they dropped a 0.7. But I just I don't mean, think, I don't know, man. I just don't see, because like watching that series, like you said, it's like he's trying to 1v3. And then it's it's like, I don't see Ahmed having that same creative ability. No, nah, I'm not hating, guys. I'm not hating. I'm just trying to be, um like, I just don't think he's the same as he was like years ago. You know, and I think nowadays, if you're going to keep up, you have to have three dudes. Like, if you want to beat a team like Mates, you got to have three dudes who are on that, I don't know, that level. You know, what do you guys think? Do you agree? Uh, I mean, I think it's kind of unfortunate that, like, Mina, honestly, is, like, four superstars that are so good. Um, And then I think Ahmed and Ocala are very, very good, but they're not superstars. So when you, you know, have four superstars, that means one's going to get left out. So you could literally switch trk and nupo and be like dude trk might need like some help dude yeah so it's just, that's a good it's point kind of unlucky but uh it's not unlucky but it's just i don't know i i don't think it's like that roll one's not capable i would just say they kind of need to like maybe like start shifting with the meta like i think ocala needs to you know be less defensive yeah um and then maybe ahmed needs to like get back to being that aggro guy like that first guy in line but who knows i don't know yeah, uh, I think Kago. I think Kago said it well. Like, I really do agree that like all of Falcons and then Nupo are just like the top four, and I don't think there's any debate on that. Um, and I, I, I do disagree. I think, I think Ahmad and Khaled, like, I think they can step up. I think they still have. You that expect them to step to up during them. this major? You're saying, like, you think they can? Do I don't it? know. I don't know if we'll see it this major, but I don't. I don't think they're like. I don't think there's like no hope or anything like that. I think. I think they can find it somewhere within themselves to step up, help Nupo out a little bit. And I think once, I think if that happens, not once, I think if that happens, I think rule one could be really scary. Because I think Ahmad was still pretty good last season. I don't remember exactly what, uh, I don't remember exactly what it was. Remember when they played Gen G, uh, Falcons played Gen G, and Ahmad had like that crazy series? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't see why he couldn't do something like that again. And Gen G was a super solid team, and he dropped like seven on their forehead or something. So, yeah. I don't know. I think he's. I think he can still. I think he can still step up. And I still think Cal is really good. I think he it's just hard to go up. from like you hear about that guy like three years ago. I mean, Reed, didn't that fucker hit the shot on you? The ah, yeah, bro, you re you really had to bring that up. I mean, bro, <laughs> Reed. I mean, Ahmed uh, scored like, an insane yeah, redirect, and ever guy, since then, I feel like I just haven't heard of his ass. Hey, fellas. I mean, come on, man. It's the quick chat. You guys know what it's about.
Um, but yeah, I <laughs> read my bad. But no, nah, I don't know, man. I feel like ever since we heard all of that hype, it just hasn't. We haven't had the same, and that's all I'm saying. I think if this team wants to be like competing for top eights, like legit top eights, I think they have to step up to their old form. Because I think three dudes like this are going to beat them eight out of ten times in a series. But yeah, that's my uh, my take. You guys ready to go to the next one? Or anyone thoughts? Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. Next one. This one's going to get interesting. This one's going to get interesting. We got um, LG taking on Furia. LG was the three seed, right? Or were they the four from NA? Uh, they were uh, three, three, right? Okay. Three. So, yeah, yeah they're... Think... Huh? Actually... Yeah, no, I think you're right. <laughs> they're, they're three seed. They're three seed. Yeah, so they were the three seed. They lose game one, two to five. They lose the next game one to six. And then they lose the next game one to three. I mean, I don't know... Um, you guys want to let me know what you thought of these matches? First guy, uh, or you want me to take in? I mean, I'll definitely spit a little bit. Aye. I mean, LG, I think a lot of people ranked, like, senior aside, a lot of people ranked OG better than LG anyway. Um, yeah. But uh, LG, obviously, Cheese's first land. Magic's, like, one of his second, maybe, almost his land. A lot of people had questions, and it was kind of like this first series could be, you know, either statement for them they're like yo this seems real they deserve the spot like they're here to fucking play but i'm gonna be real they bro they just got slapped that series that was i was watching that and i was dialed they were nervous they could not do anything with the ball reddles was trying to go for his bumps when you're we're not doing anything with the ball when you don't even have boots you can't do anything and like furio was just freestyle i mean i'm trying they to find their stats team. reddles had a 0. 0.6 cheese was also down here at a 0. 0.7 Where's Magic Bear? Magic Bear dropped a, a 1.0. So at best, their best guy dropped like an average rating that you usually want to have per series. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Flitz, what do you got to say? I think Furia made a huge statement with this series. Like, I think heading into this, I think Luminosity was confident heading into it. I think, I do agree though. I think nerves might've got to them into the series, but I know heading into it, I know they were confident. And yeah. I think a lot of people were kind of curious about Furia because obviously they moved in a... Didn't quite do as good as they thought. They went back, and we, unless you really watched that region, you didn't know what to expect. I've been watching a little bit of the region. I've seen how they've done it against complexity. I asked, I honestly wasn't sure if they could do it against, um, you know, other teams not in the region. Because, like I said, they've only been playing complexity pretty much some of the lower SAM teams. But lost one in that series, drops two goals a game and a 1.8. That was insane yeah. performance from them. They absolutely stomped on them. I think Furia. And then they continue to do it in the next series as well. Um, with Vitality, obviously a tougher opponent, but I mean, they came in and went through there. I think Furia is looking really, really good right now. And I'm, I'm excited to watch them tomorrow. Yeah. Um, all right. I'm going to get my honest thoughts now. I think, uh, dude, I think that's the worst I've seen LG play. Like, I, like straight up. I think Reddles went Finnick. Um, and I don't know why, because I think he's played all season Octane. So I don't know if he got inspired by other pros. He might have. He might have. But also at the same time, it's like they made a grand final. I maybe I'm overthinking it. I mean, Reed, you switch cards all the time. Is it? Am I overthinking it? Like a like if you go to a LAN and you played Octane all season, are you switching going Finnick? I mean, maybe it's just a car, but I yeah, you're definitely, not wrong. Reddles isn't the kind of player that does that though. So it, that's why it's weird. I think. So do you think that's more think... of a, a confidence thing, or do you think he was just inspired? And like, ooh, I'm feeling good. I mean, bro, it's really hard. Every, like, um, I've heard Beast Mode even say it, bro. When you see these dudes like Zen, Batira, basically all the best players using Fennec, you're like, holy fuck, there's got to be something about that shit. Like, yeah. right, I'm missing out on something. I'm so I, every player, like, wants to try it. But I don't, I, I don't know. I definitely think Octane is, like, more his car, you know? Mm. That's um, definitely, like, a Reynolds car. No, I agree. I agree. I'm usually, I think when I think of him, I think of Octane. Um, also, I'm going to keep going on this. I think Magic Bear, well, I don't know what my expectation should have been with Magic Bear and Cheese, but I feel like, is Magic, are we still considering Magic Bear a rookie? Because like, we go to no. these lands and it's like, we're talking about how like Reddles is taking him under his wing. Dude, Magic Bear has damn near been a pro for like six fucking years. <laughs> like, am I crazy saying that? Why are we acting like he's like a baby? A lot like of he's new. Forget about Alpine. I don't know why. Yeah. Because uh, he's been he dead ass. He knocked me out of RS. Like I was seeing with classics. Classics bum ass made me fucking lose. I didn't make RS one season because of him. Um, Ooh, besides okay. the point. Besides the point though, right? But no, I think I feel like we're treat we treat Magic Bear like he's some baby. 
Like, we're like, oh, Reddle's got to take him under his wing. Like, even the casters are saying shit like that. They're like, they're going to go back to the drawing board, teach him a thing or two. It's like, dude, Magic Bear's been here for a long time. Um, also, I don't know, like, what should be my expectation with Magic Bear going to these lands and cheese? Like, do we know they're going to go into these series all nervous and shit? Because, like, the grand finals, I'm pretty sure they called a timeout at one point, if I'm not mistaken, because they were, like, trying to calm each other down. You know, like, is that just going to keep like, when does that start calming down? I guess, because I think personally, these guys play way worse when they have any sort of pressure. And yeah, that's no, I mean, I, 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 I completely agree with that. But I also think one thing you need to consider is like, yeah, magic's been around, but this is to my knowledge, magic's first land in any capacity. Cheese at the very least has that last gamers eight he did with Koi. Um, and he did pretty well on that gamers eight stage. Well, didn't magic Bear make that or am I tweaking? I don't think with Magic AJ? Bear was at Gamers 8. Chat, did it? No, no, no. Wait. Oh, wait, they were. They, they did. Were. They, they made the that. land. Oh, yeah. never mind. Never mind. Okay, yeah. And so they made Boston. Make... Man, get your ass out of here. Oh, okay. I'm a bum. I forgot. Oh, my. Hey, fellas. Okay. Sorry. This is okay, the, this so, yeah, is then, the then, quick Okay, so yeah. Then I agree with you, Kev. Then I agree with you, Kev. Because I was going to say, to my knowledge, <laughs> this is his first major. I forgot about Optic completely, dude. But I was going to say, to my, to my knowledge, this is his first major. But you know what's crazy about Gamers 8, too? I played him first round, and I lost. I mean, like, I are you? you they say I got me. dementia, bro. They say I got I, shit. What are we talking about? I, look, that, that, I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I'm a bum, all right? But look, I, now that now that I remember that, I, I actually do kind of agree Nah, I like, mean, I'm just saying, I just feel like, cheese, I know he's going to be shitting bricks. He's nervous. Like, dude, Reed, <laughs> how, how nervous were you at your first, like, land? I mean, yeah, you gotta you you gotta allow the kid to have some nerves. No, no, that's, I agree, I agree. You gotta I allow agree. it, uh, but I mean, but the, my thing honestly, is, when they have these nerves, they just don't perform anything like they should, like we saw today. That's my I mean, issue. I think, I mean, I think you a lot of people are nervous, but yeah. there's a difference between being nervous and letting it affect your performance. Because, like, I guarantee you, all these dudes at some point were nervous. You know, it's your first land for everyone, and like. 200 something plus days like everyone's gonna be nervous it's gonna be psychotic if you're not because if you're nervous you care so that's a you care that's a good thing yeah. right you're passionate yeah so like all these are gonna be nervous but they the nerves are fucked with them because they didn't perform like a lot of these dudes are nervous but they're still you know doing the shit they normally do they're getting good touches they're doing like everything to help their team win these guys were nervous and they were just fucking maybe whiffing the ball or not really doing anything at all the other team was just fucking cruising so there's like you can be nervous, but you, you got to like try and not let it affect your performance like you did with LG. That was the issue. Yeah. I mean, I definitely think I might have been a little too hard right there on them because I, guys, I do want to see NA teams do good, obviously. Like, I watch all the matches. Um, but like, I just when you see G, when you see um, LG, like they were on an upward trend and then it kind of just started going down. And it's like, it's like you just want to see them do good. So I feel like if they're going to play good, I guess my final thing is they have to play their game. Like they have to somehow play their game. And I think the big reason they're not is because of the nerves. I guess that's my final thoughts. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, yeah, you could just call them dog shit. That'd be fine. That, that is not what I said. That's fucking insane. I think Kev called them dog shit. I also, I did see a guy. I'm, I usually, I don't want to be this guy that reads chat and shit, but I saw a guy named Appetite saying I've never made a land. That's just complete bullshit. <laughs> In like 2018, I made a universal 2v2. You know who won it all? The guy who knocked me out. Squishy. Ooh. Universal Ooh, champ. Squishy. He went on to beat everybody. Also, I qualified for a WGN land. Um, there you go. Talk your shit, King. Never I think there's like a $5,000 prize pool, but don't yeah. act like I can't compete. Like, hey, we can't let compete. Let the old man compete. That I mean, was back you know, in you know what's crazy about that, but... Cap? Yeah, go ahead. You know who won that WGN land? Dino. And Dino. Com's Com ass, bro, and Stokely. <laughs> I got like four. I want to see another um, WGN. That was cool. Nah, it is what it is. But yeah, other than that, I think, um, like you said, Lost popped off. Yan played. Yan's. I mean, this team just looks good on land, and Jafino's good. That's the, I think that's yeah. a wrap on that series. I mean, we we shit on LG, but half half of the credit, if not more, goes to how well like experience was. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. They you they were LG didn't like lose to a team that was playing like bombs. LG, no, was I, just I, tr awesome I truly think off. I honestly think you could argue that like Furia like is like one of if not like the best teams from day one. Like they look they yeah, look so good sure. in my opinion. Top four. All right, um, moving on to the next. Since we already talked about BDS Elevate, it was kind of one of the more quiet series. We'll go on to Falcons versus OG. Now, Falcons, talk of the day, easily, right? Mm -hmm. I yeah, mean, they look good. What, what was your guys' thoughts on... Uh, I mean, give your thoughts on Falcons first, and then we'll talk about the OG series with it. You got it, Flitz. So, I mean, I think Rewas is obviously someone that people are going to pay uh, attention to. 
Yeah. I mean, Kalir's also had a crazy day. And I think the craziest thing about this team is like, I don't know if I could pick a worse player. Like, I don't think there is a worse player on this team. All three of them are ridiculous. Yeah. Um, I mean, they came in, they came in swinging. I will say one thing that I want to talk about is I don't know if you guys remember how OG lost that first game. But oh, it was a shot that was that was very savable. Are you talking about the backflip. was it a backflip? I'll find it right now. Yeah, yeah Nolly Nolly backflipped the shot like right on net. And I think that very was I, think, momentum? I don't know how much that affected them, but that like seemed like that, that seems like that's a very tilting way to lose. Um and yeah. I don't know how well they ba- uh they how well they bounced back, but I Here mean, especially is. when you're playing a team like this, you want to get that first game. Like that I feel like that first game so Bro, you know what the worst part is? I'm pretty sure they were up 2-0 in this game. I think you might be right, actually. Yeah, am I right? I think they were up 12. Uh, I think not 12. I think they were up 2-0 in this game, and they were playing good. Yeah, they were up 2-0, and then Falcons come back, tie it up, and then they lose off this goal. Now, that I'm not saying, like, Noli, this whole game's on Noli. But a goal oh, like yeah. that, like Flitz is saying, is it's a momentum shift. Like, sometimes that does get the vibes where you're like, ah, oh, we got to pick it back up. But we could have had that. We are up 2-0, you know? I mean, I, I think especially in the these best of fives, like, I mean, every game matters, obviously, but that game one, especially in OT game one, like, I feel like that matters so much, especially for, like, mindset um, and momentum, and especially on land, like, everything, every mistake, you know, counts, it adds up, and, like, something like that. I think that I think that could have affected him. I mean, because look at, look at that second game. I mean, 4-0, Doctor just came in rolling, and they bounced back for that third game. And then once yeah. again, game four came around, another 4-0. So, but I mean, yeah. Falcons are... Great, great team. Three, yeah. two. They won an overtime, minute 54. Then they win another 4-0, like you said. Kind of have that momentum going into it. Then they, they win 3-1. They bounce back, and you're like, oh, are they going to turn around? Then they lose 4-0. Um, are we thinking, is Torment in the chat by any chance? Do you guys think so? Um, are we thinking it's a coaching I problem? I want the smoke. I do is it a coaching, a coaching problem, problem Torment? Because if you're watching right now, you need to figure your shit out, boy. Um, uh, nah, all Tom- I'm saying is Torment was not throwing any fist pumps in the air. Yeah. I did not see a yell. I mean, I thought Tommy would be like, ah, like just getting fucking into it. Yeah, if y'all not- want to see a great coach, I don't know if y'all have ever seen it, but sometimes players will call a timeout or they'll be, you know, all in their gaming chairs. Sp- they spin around to the coach and I'll face them like it's a kindergarten teacher and their eyes wide open listening to the coach. I didn't see that at all. I wouldn't mind that. Like maybe he gets on his knee and tells everyone to come in, bring it in. Huddle, maybe. Huddle. Ready, break, ready, set, ho. Break idea. on three, break on three. Oh, like, where's the passion? I, I need do. Torment screaming. Nah, but on a real note, just giving Torment shit. I don't think uh, really. But what do you think of the um? What do you think of their individual team uh, players' performances? Because in this series, Com dropped a point seven, JNAB's point seven, Noli point seven. Like no one really kind of, no one really kind of popped off for them. I feel like it's like they're all just kind of below average. I mean, they were just getting like. Suppressed, basically. Like Falcons yeah. were just better. Oh, I also feel like uh, you, you might disagree with me on this, Kago. Like when we played OG this split, and when I've seen them play, it almost seems like they they play very like passive. Like they don't really play like super in your face, like super aggressive. Like I think it's hard to have someone to pop off because I feel like they don't really play to have someone to pop off. You know, I, I don't know if that makes sense, but at uh, least from, I, like my experience with them is that. Yeah, they're definitely like counterjack heavy. I mean, the thing is mm-hmm. that's like different, and I guess I think it's kind of like. A good thing for them but like lg and og don't really have like a daniel or like even like mm-hmm. yeah, um an lj but like so they have to play very systematic ball and by systematic ball i mean like very structured gameplay so because of that there's there's like they're obviously not structuring their gameplay so like they're like hoping cheese is the guy that pops off and scores everything or jane apps is the guy who's just like putting everything home or being that guy so like they're all equally involved so that's why you'll never really see like you know JNAP's maybe dropping a 1.8 or someone dropping like a super low rating because they're all as involved with each other, which is a good thing and bad thing. It's got pros and cons. You know, they're a very good team. They're very synchronized. Yeah. But when they need someone to, you know, if they're playing a fucking Falcons or Karma, you need someone to, you know, get you a fucking nuts goal. Like, let's get the boys going here. So like, they're not really there. Are you pretty much saying like you need like you're saying like you need pop off players? Are you saying you need pop off players nowadays? Like, I feel like it helps. Just, I mean. Like, do you think I you can have three think... unit players that can go win it, like, could go win it all like that? Like, I don't Jimmy, know. Jimmy, who are your I four don't... most likely teams to win the major? And in on those teams, do they have a guy where you're like, that dude can contend for one of the best in the world? Not the best, but can he contend I mean, that's for a, a top point. five player uh, in the world? Yeah, you're not wrong. OG, LG, I'm not picking them to win the major. Rule yeah. one, I'm not picking them to win the major. Like, any team I'm picking to win the major, 
Yeah. Is they gonna have, have a guy that's like, that can pop is off. gonna get the MVP or is gonna get like, you know, he's gonna be that guy that can, you know, straight up I don't know about winning a series, but get you a goal when it matters most. Like just mm-hmm. fucking little one v two air dribble, mm-hmm. flip reset over. Like it's it's not necessary, but no, it, I agree. It feels necessary, honestly. I think as well as like I think there's only like if I had to say I'd probably say there's like six or seven teams that I could see winning a major, and I think it's very hard to put OG in the convo without having like like Kago said one of like one of those world renowned world class players that can really make stuff happen uh, when you need it to happen. Um, I do think OG can do well in the major, but I don't know if I can see them winning. I mean, uh, we'll, I mean especially against a team like Falcons, where I feel like I feel like almost all three of those players, you could put the argument of like, yeah, this guy is playing out of their mind, best in the world. Um, I guess real quick, do you guys think? I mean, I can ask it later. Let's just move on to the next one. Um, so yeah, O. So sum it up, Falcons just have three guys who are playing very good, as we saw later in the day as well, and OG. Um, kind of let momentum shift out of their hands a little bit. They were playing good though for a bit, and then it kind of shifted, and yeah. So next series we have is Vitality versus Complexity. Um, this one kind of felt like a blur, I won't lie. But I could start us out here. Um, Vitality wins game one, 1-0, one and then they lose 4-2. to two. Now, Complexity, in my opinion, was playing good. I thought overall, Razable looked like a dog. Um, he probably scored shot of the day, realistically. If you guys can remember, he hit that sidewall read. Um, and then they, they lose the next game, 3-1, and then Vitality closed it out 2-1. to one. Now... In my opinion, in this series, I didn't even think Vitality played insane. I thought Zinn was the only one really creating. And, like, I thought that Zinn looked great. I really did. I think, mm-hmm. I don't want to be, I, I'm not trying, but I feel like Alpha and Radisson are not at that same, like, dominant level that they were at at the World Championship, where they're like, they can take over those games as well as Zinn. Does that make sense? But they still, yeah. they still won, which is a really good sign. I think what? the fear factor of Vitality's kind of gone, but I think Zen still has it. I mean, he played out of his mind today. I mean, especially um, in that second series as well. I know this when we're talking about the first series, but even in that second series, like he really seemed to he really seemed to be the only one like making stuff happen. I mean, like we talked about um, a little bit during that last series, like you need a player that can make stuff happen. Zen is that guy, and he always will be. Um, I do agree that. I don't think Alpha and Rado are playing as solid as they need to be, and they still got this win. Yeah. Um, so for this series, I don't think it was too big of a problem. Um, but I mean, complexity as well. Like, I don't think they're playing that bad. Um, I thought CRR was playing pretty well. Um, raise bull, you know, he's always doing raise bull things, but I mean, I just think, I think Zen was just a little bit too much for them and you know, you just, you just gotta give it to fatality. Yeah. Were you doing anything you got to add? Uh, yeah, I don't think vitality looked insane. Like I don't have them in major winning form to be honest, mm-hmm. obviously like they lost, so it's not really like a hot take. Um, but to be honest, I've said this for a while, like ever since the move happened. I like Dorito. I think he's a good player. But I still genuinely think, even at this point, AJG was the perfect fit for that team. Like, Raisable, watching today, Raisable has been was super defensive. He was getting left in shit spots because CRR and Dorito kind of were just going everything. Like, and again, I don't know if it's nerves, it's the way they play. But yeah. you can't leave a player in 1v3s as often as they were and expect, like, success like great success. I mean bro like, yeah right off the rip a series or two but like they were doing that all day um but AJG kind of was perfectly fit in that style because he could be more defensive Raisable can go up and Raisable is not really like a Dorito where he's gonna throw himself out of the play all the time so it doesn't feel as you know as one-sided when it comes to AJG on defense but AJG is also gonna do a lot of stuff when it comes to opening up with bumps for his teammates laying Raisable and CR work so I just I, I, I genuinely don't know if it's complexity being bad just i think this might be complexity's new like floor it's just they're they might not even be as good as they were with ajg so this just might have to become the new standard like we can't think of them as the team with ajg because they don't have them anymore they're just not as good simple as that i mean that's my opinion yeah I, I, i'm pretty confident in it too i think a lot of people I agree with that man i mean i think i think I don't think complexity got better, right? Like, I think, and I know, like, pretty much just said that, but I think, like, I think you can almost argue that they got worse. Like, that AJG roster, like, they, at one point, you could have argued they were, a, they were, like, a top two team in North America. And right oh, now, I don't even, I don't even think you can argue that c- complexity right now is the best in SAM, right? No, I think not. it's just, it's yeah, just no. So, I, I, I can, I think that was, like, a perfect take, Kago. I, I'm not going to lie. That was great. Thanks, lad. Yeah, so overall, sum up on that. Um, Vitality, Vitality, Zen looked great. Vitality looked decent. They 3-1 it still on complexity. Um, They looked tight. They looked there. 
nothing crazy. Um, all right, let's move into our lower round twos. Let's sum these up quick, and then we'll get into the some of the bigger series we'll talk about. Um, rule one, elevate. Um, what's your guys' thoughts on that? Anybody really think too much? Uh, elevate, not a bad showing, but if anything, it's a little bit more concerning for one that series. It was not like dominant. It was not what it should have been. I don't like. Yeah. Okay, it wasn't dominant. It was dominant for a little bit, but I think like. For a team really to like impress me, like a 3 0 dominant start to finish, you didn't lose focus. Um, but now that I see they lose a game, it kind of, if I'm an opponent, I get a little bit happy seeing that. Like, you know, this team's like not playing that great. They're losing a team to elevate. No hate to elevate, but there's blood in the water when you're losing a game like that. It's yeah. I think that, um, I mean, it's one of those series where you go into and you're like, oh, you already know who's going to win it. That's like, that was kind of my thing. Like, you already know who's going to win the series. But I will say, um, this, uh, Sphinx kid, right? Uh, fit let's yeah, Sphinx. Um, yeah, I thought this kid actually was actually good. I didn't, I've never heard of him till today. I've never watched him, but dude, he was balling out. He was balling out. Um, but other than that, yeah, I kind of, I'm kind of with you. Flitz, you have anything like out of that? I think there's, I think there's two ways to look at the series. I think you either look at this and say like, wow, I can't believe Ruan dropped the game off APAC. But I mean, even though they lost, I want to give a shout out to Elevate because I think they showed at least in that game three, like, they can at times compete with teams like this. And yeah, yeah rule one could have played better, but I mean, they literally went down in that game, if I remember correctly. It was like 2-0, rule one, and within like a minute, Elevate completely turned it around. And like you said, Sphinx, he's playing out of his mind right now. And I hope I hope they can keep it up. I want to see, I, like, you know, we talked about it earlier. I want to see Limitless or Elevate get a win at some point. Like, I know Gaiman got one last season, or no, it was Elevate last season, but, you know, that was like, Virtuoso and Kami, like two imports. I want to see a full APAC team like Elevate. I want to see them get a win. Yeah. Um, and if, if they played how they did in that game three, like playing as a team, playing off their strengths, like I think they could possibly, they could get there. I mean, they took a game off for one and then, yeah, they lost. But I think it was still, I think there's still some upside if you're Elevate here. But overall, I mean, like you said, I think pretty much everyone had rule one. It's nice to see Elevate get a game, but they still have some work to do. Yep, I agree. Um, all right, next one we had. We're gonna go through this one quick as well. OG taking down Limitless three two. They went to a three minute overtime. Limitless was competing, and then they lose two zero. Then they lose five to one. OG bounces back. Um, I can pull up the stats, but yeah, I don't really think there's too much to talk about with this one. I think it's just literally more talent, better players, and yeah. What do you guys think? Same shit. Tom played well. Good for him. Good for OG. Get a little momentum. That's it. Let's go next. All right, we're going next. Um, yeah, not too much to talk about. I mean, it's just, they're, I don't really think they can keep up. Now, this series we can talk about. Complexity taking on um, LG. Um, they played them, and they lose 3-1. to one. LG lose 1-0. Then they win the next game 2-1. to one. Then they lose in overtime. Then they lose 5-1. to one. Um, Yeah, I don't know. What was your, uh, what did you guys think about this series? Uh, I actually thought LG caught fire a little bit. Um, we'll yeah. see it later, but game one, complexity one, I think complexity was better. Game two, uh, I don't honestly remember fully. I think complexity might have just had a classic, like, a, a, a throw. Like, LG got some decent goals, but complexity kind of fell off a little bit. They tapered off. But game three, LG actually started looking the best they have the entire tournament. I remember, because I was literally like, whoa, this looks like a different team. Yeah. But then raise and they probably should have scored and won in that ot and the, it was a momentum shifter but raise bull hits that shot and yeah let me find that anyone could have told you after he hits that shot bro the series is over especially a team like you know complexity that might have felt like they weren't you know fully in it as soon as he hits that shot it gets the blood flowing the boys are like let's fucking do this let's get this again like we're up 2-1 now it's a huge swing game as it is yeah and they're like okay let's fucking put these kids in the ground right now that might be a little bit aggressive, sorry, but like that's the thinking, right? Like let, let's put these guys away, right? So that immediately changes everything. They all the confidence just immediately shifts from LG to complexity. Game four literally starts off complexity coming out hot, just knowing like, yo, we're better. We're gonna win. Yeah. And that's what they did. I mean, it's just that simple. LG looked pretty fucking rough after. Um, but they had they had moments this time where the first series, no moments, looked really bad. But now they started looking like themselves a little bit, but kind of raised ball, just put them away, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Um, Dude, I don't know, man. Like, I guess my expectation was just higher. But, like, even if we look at this series, complexity versus luminosity, 
Reynolds dropped a point three. I I don't know, man. It just to me what it looked like is none of them were creating. It just looks like every time they have the ball, it's like it's like a hit or a panic hit. It's like obviously I'm not as good as these guys, right? I know that, but as a spectator. Like, you know when a team's playing good, when they're taking their time, they're trying to solo play. Like, when Cheese is playing good in Magic Bear, it's like those guys are creating, and Rettles is getting demos and demos and demos. It's like, and it feels like they're opening up space, but I don't know. It just didn't feel like, it didn't feel like they were giving themselves chances to actually win the game. And I never thought they were going to win the series the whole time because of that. Yeah, that's, I agree with that. That's, that's a good point. Um, what do you and think, Magic Flex? Bear Anything? Did step up a little bit. But yeah. yeah, I mean, I still kind of agree overall with what you said. And then obviously, I mean, you could see it in Magic's face when Rizbo hit that shot. After he hit that double, the series was over. Like, I don't care what happens in that game four. Like, that was just, I think that game was such a big, important game. And not only to lose, but to lose like that, like, that shot of the tournament so far in my book. So, yeah, I agree. I mean, we could talk a little bit. What's your guys's, I guess, where's the expectation from the rest of the major when you're down 0-2? Like, uh like LG, like, do you have the mindset? I mean, they play Limitless tomorrow, which is good. And we'll do predictions later, everybody. But I mean, so you have a good bounce back game. Most people would be very happy with that matchup. We'll say that. Um, mm -hmm. But do you think, like, can they win one? If they win one series, I mean, they're going to drop. They're going to have to play a team who's in what? The round three mid right here. So they're going to play the loser of one of these, right? Has to be. Mm -hmm. So they're going to uh, play. Yeah. They're going to play a good fucking team. Like, you might get power, right? And be like, woof. And power's still good. And I am i don't know. Would you guys take power or LG based off what you've seen so far? Because to me, that goes to five. Uh, I'd probably take LG. I feel like that would be fucking rough if you're taking power. Like, I don't know if LG could be that bad. Like, they would have to be rolling balls for me to pick power. Here, here's, here's what I'll say, right? If you're LG right now, you have one goal and one goal tomorrow, and that is to sweep. You need to sweep. You need to get that momentum. I don't think they can afford dropping a game and letting that be in the back of their heads. They need to sweep. Forget about day one. Sweep that series, and then let's say they drop power. I think if power play how they did against ga uh, game one against Gen G, they could very much be a problem. Yeah. I do think Lumen would still be the favorite in that, but I don't think we should mess around with power completely. Like, yeah, it was Banana had dropping five goals, but they looked very good against Gen G in game one. Yeah, they did. Um, but I think if Lumen, I think Lumen are able to get that sweep and bounce back, I would have them as the favorite. But I yeah. seriously think they cannot afford to drop a game. Yeah, I think, I, I low-key think if LG come out, they win 3-0, they get the good vibes, the jitters out, because that's an easier series. Um, I think, but here's my issue. They could get good vibes, feel good, but bro, you're going to play. Let's say they don't play power. Are you confident that they're better than OG, Vitality, BDS, G2, K Corp, Complexity, or Rule 1? Are you, are you positive? Are you confident they beat those teams based off what you've seen? Because I Right I, now? Yeah. No. I right don't know, but I'm going to be real, bro. This happened to us last in Rotterdam, Swiss format. Fucking brutal. We lost our first series to five, and then we lose to power 3-0. Like, one of the worst losses in my career. Yeah. We're down 0-2. Like, we're literally in LG's point. And there's nothing else to say other than one series at a time. So, we, mm -hmm. I think we beat, like, an APAC team, right? And we're like, we start, you know, feeling yourself. Like, all it takes is one win. So at this current form, I can't say they're better than a lot of these teams, but I definitely wouldn't be surprised if they come out in round four, you know, they get that first win in round three, and now they're playing an OG who they're comfortable with, and they know they're kind of starting to play well, they're feeling their game, and it's like yeah. a new land. Mm -hmm. So, like, it's definitely comebackable, but it's going to be incredibly hard, especially yeah. since you have to play three series, too. That's yeah. a long day. Playing a match, bro, that takes a lot of energy, and you have to, they have to play three of them for their tournament life as well. No, that's as fair. much as I as much as I hate to say it, I think you can sleep on Lumen a little bit, but I don't think you can count them out. Like they're like especially at this point, like they almost have nothing to lose. Like they they already have a bad start, um, you know, and obviously they want to do well at this major. But like like Mikago said, one series at a time. Like if you want to sleep on them, that's fine. But I don't think you count them out yet. And even if they are an underdog heading into a series, it doesn't mean they can't win. Mikago yeah. said it himself. He happened in that last Swiss, so you know, we'll just have to wait and see tomorrow um yeah no, i think that's fair all right moving into our next our last lower match um of round two we had power beating uh kcp um uh, they beat them now three regionals in a row like in the grand finals and then they beat up again on land 3-0 it just seems like they're their daddy like they can't beat them i mean they are their daddy they're literally getting they're literally getting owned by their own region like that's that's gotta be rough i can't lie that's Imagine going into a, like you're the second seed of your region, yeah. and you go in your match and you're like, bro, we just like you don't even make it competitive. Like that's it's it's got to be a little bit rough. I can't lie. Mm -hmm. like, Power's got that whole region on a leash. It seems like I mean they're a good yeah. team. Banana had had another really good series uh, 
uh, that match. But I mean, I think power is just OCU one. There's not really a debate on that. Yeah, I mean, bananas drop in. They had a he had a 1.5 pretty much, and then you have a 1.4, and then a 1.1. While all the other guys dropped a 0. 0.5, 0. 0.6, and 0. 0.7. Like you're just not. I don't know. Are these guys just much? Um, I didn't really get to. I didn't really get to watch that series. Um, but were these? Did anyone? Um, did you guys get to watch? Like, are these guys? Are these I guys think, on power blatantly just better? I yeah, think they're just yeah, better. I think so. I think yeah. it's not really questionable. Fever is gross. Banana is gross. Towards us, probably could be questionably like second to worst in this hey, lobby. He's still but... kicking, bro. He's still kicking. Bro, yeah, that dude's been kicking. around for a minute. <laughs> yeah, he's been around since for like six years or something. Um. All right, let's go into um, this one. I know this was on the B stream while the A stream was going. So for those that don't know, again, um, now we're going to the high two round matches. Um, but BDS and mates were played on the backup on the B stream. Also, I don't know about you guys, but I wish they would have done. I, I don't know how to describe it, but like a high match and a low match. Or was that a bad yeah. idea? Because then no, no one's no. going to watch. That, that's a good point that we could have probably talked about production. But that is like terrible in my opinion that they're putting high matches the matches people want to see i understand you want to get you know maybe yeah. like a team that might not be great on the mainstream and get them love but like bro if 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 it's the major like please show me you know g2 versus gen g please don't show me og versus limitless like what are we doing like we got to show the yeah best but i mean on the mainstream yeah so you're saying what they should do is stream all four of the high matches on the main and then throw these ones all to the b yeah, it, I mean it's just it's. it's I mean, no I think no, I think that's facts. You're not an exciting match, like. Yeah, I, I think I think you're right. Like they have to put those streams on mainstream. Like those are the best matches. Like imagine you, like that Falcons K series. Imagine a series like that, one of the maybe the best series in the whole tournament. You have it on B stream. Like you're mo missing out on so much, like just yeah. potential. You put them on B stream. Nah, uh, I agree. Um. What do you, uh, if you want to be in the mainstream, win your games, in my opinion, guys, these were, these people were all in the upper. These guys are all, um, these guys were two, uh, one and oh, these guys were in the lower and they played these guys. Um, some of these guys didn't get on the mainstream. That's not what, that's not what happened guys. Um, but no, I agree. Flitz, you think so? The same thing. Do you think all the matches or do you like when they stream, they force you to watch a lower or two? What do you think? I kind of get it. But I mean, Kaga's right. You gotta show the people what they want to see. You know. I mean, I, I think you guys pretty much said everything on my mind there. I mean, the B stream got up to like what 10k views. I think that's pretty fucking good mm -hmm. for a B stream. You know, I mean, shit. You look at some esports, Halo. They're getting like fucking not even 10k on their main. So that's not bad. Um, but yeah, let's keep it going. Um, BDS versus Mates. Um, BDS lose this series. Mates looked good. Atachi, Juicy, and um. Seiko, they looked pretty good, dude. They go, they win the first game in overtime. The next game, they lose two to one, but then they bounce back, winning two to one, and then one zero. I'll be honest, I thought BDS were easily going to be better than uh, Mates. I didn't think. I think Mates are kind of overperforming already. My expectation, maybe I underestimated Mates. I don't know. What do y'all think? I mean, I know, I know BDS four uh, zero and four one last week time they played Mates, uh, but now they meet on land. And Mates has their number. So Dude. I don't think this is like an anomaly or anything. Yeah. I think BDS was definitely the favorite heading into this. And I didn't have Mates win it. Yeah. I think, I think Drawley is like, kind of, is it weird? If it's, is it a hot take for me to say, I think he's still a wild. He's good. He's very good. But is he, is he a wild card still? Yeah. He's yeah. not going to give yeah. you like production that he can give you like every series, like at his peak. That's yeah. like his biggest thing he needs to learn. Or I don't know about learn, but if he can like get that skill of being like his, you know, his best performance every series, like uh, then that puts him into the category of you know the top players in EU. But you can't really do that if he's off and on like every other series. Yeah. Um. Do you think that this team kind of relies on him to like pop off, or is that kind of like a dumb take? Uh. Like, do you think I they rely think so. if he plays good? If he plays okay, are they gonna win a regional in EU? Like I don't think so. I think if they're gonna win, they he has to play like great, like the player they expect him to be one day, like popping off. I think that's that's I don't know. I think Monkey Moon's a fucking beast though, still, and I think Exotic's yeah. good. But I think if they really want to win, he's like gotta be that guy that's like, I don't know, you know, creating, I mean, popping off for them. To win anything, everyone's gonna have to be most likely playing well, but. Uh, BDS is so like system based. Like they've been system based since like 
the open era began and like no one could keep up with them because they were just so much like their system was just so much better so much more efficient yeah. so i know monkey moon's like i don't know i think i think they can go very far without uh jolly playing well because they're just like that that's a that's a team with a unit but again i don't know if i see them winning because let's go back to the og where if jolly's i guess it may ties in but if jolly's you know not being that guy and they're superstar then it's gonna be tough for them to win a you know win a major maybe they can do place well but win is a different question than placing well yeah um all right let's go into the next do you guys want to tackle uh furia vitality and then go down we can do that let's do yeah. um so furia takes on vitality and I'm not going to lie, Furia shocked me. I did not expect him to come out and go be 2-0 and in the high round. I mean, did you guys at all? Mm, no, but the the thing is with Furia is they're literally always the biggest land wild card because, bro, they get on land, they start screaming. Who knows what the fuck they're saying in yeah. Portuguese? But they, bro, it like, in, it just ignites something within Yan and he turns it, he like, he just becomes the best player in the world all of a sudden. Like, something actually goes through his blood, and he just literally is just, Bora! And yeah. he's just fucking double reset, fucking actually shitting on kids. I mean, he's a scary motherfucker. Like the power of land for them. Yeah. Like, it's insane. Um, I mean, I know we already talked about it a bit earlier, but, I mean, you have a player like Yan who's so explosive, and then you have Lost who's also playing out of his mind today. Like, Furia was on one. I want to see this again tomorrow uh, because, like, I watched a little bit of Sam um i watched like maybe two regional finals maybe a few regional semis and fury was good but i really really was not sure how they do internationally and the fact that they just beat vitality is really really good achievement so i'm hoping they can keep this up for for tomorrow um, because they look really good um but yeah, yeah i just don't know if they can keep it up yeah that i think that's the question it's like i didn't i think vitality in this series i think i thought zen played solid again and i don't know i didn't really expect um I did the same thing. I feel like they kind of match their like complexity. They could get away with them playing Zen playing good, but the other two is playing average. I don't think you can get away with that. Like this team was all playing good. Drafinho lost in the end and they didn't get away with it. They lost in game five, you know? So I think in my opinion, vitality looked pretty underwhelming and I thought uh, Furia shocked me. They played very good. So that would be yeah. my um, that would be my take on that. But I am hyped to see how Furia does going forward because I did not have them making. Um, I didn't have them like like. Do you guys think Furia the way they're playing they can go to the grand final? Or is that uh, is getting, that crazy to say? I think we're getting a little horny. I'm not gonna lie. Grand we're getting final, horny. I mean, we still got two days to go. Like, who knows if this is the same team tomorrow? I think you could if they go three zero. That's a valid question. Yeah. You know, but like. They played two rounds of Swiss. Like, I think if they go 3 0, that's a statement. It's like, of course, they, I think they can, you know, go top, they can go grand finals, but who knows? They could go 3 2 tomorrow or something and just not be the same team that pulled up today. We have no clue. Especially if Swiss into single Elam, like a lot of it kind of has to do with that bracket draw. Like, if they get, like, let's say KC first round, like, yeah, they can beat him. But I mean, if they don't, it's like, oh, you just lost to the the best team in the tournament, right? Yeah. Um, so I think a lot really has to come down to that single Elam as well. Um, I mean, we'll have to wait and see. But, I mean, I think right now, I think they look really good. I think they look like a top three team right now. But I don't know if Loss can keep it up. Yeah. Um, I hope yeah. he does. That's fair. I don't feel like – we don't normally see Loss doing this much. So. No, I like that. Um, all right, let's move on to our next. Um, we have seen this matchup, what, four times already in North America? Mm -hmm. We I saw – G2 lose today in five to Gen G. Um, they win in overtime, and then Gen G gets one on them, a two minute overtime, and they're going back and forth. G2 wins the next 1 0, low scoring games, and then they go back. Gen G wins 1 1 0. Then we go to Champs Field, and we get uh, Gen G closing it out 3 to 1. Um, I don't know. What's your guys' thoughts on this matchup overall? You know, and it was it, it how did you expect it on land as well? Like pretty similar, or what do you guys think? I mean, at the start of this uh, split, I mean, G2 is very one-sided for those first two matchups. Uh, but Genji have slowly started to figure that G2 team out, obviously winning that regional three. Um, and I think the fact that they were able to not only play them on land, but beat them is, I think that's really good for Genji's confidence. And like, overall, I think that really just shows like how much Genji have improved compared to those first two regionals. Yeah. Um, and obviously I think we can have the convo of like, well, Dan didn't score at all today. Um, yeah. And that's a different conversation of like, what will Dan do tomorrow? But I think you have to acknowledge that Genji has definitely gotten a lot better. 
Um, I'm excited to see what they can also do tomorrow. But I mean, I don't think anyone on Genji played like super standout by any means, but I think they were just pretty solid and they did enough to get the win and they deserve it. And I think, um, I, you know, we'll just have to wait and see what they do tomorrow. Yeah. Um, Reed, what's your thoughts on this matchup? I, yeah, Flitz kind of said it. At first, like, G2 was kind of just a better team, like, individually, and it just showed, like, they were kind of just, the first two regionals just not even, like, close. But honestly, something changed, and I think it's, like, noticeable. I, I don't know if this is true. I might be looking too deep. I haven't, like, but the first regional, uh, Gen G released comms, and it was very Gen G comms. That's, like, they, they, they're not, I don't know, you could just call them panicky, but it's a lot of, like, you know, I got, I got, you, 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 shit like that. Yeah. And then their one of their recent comms videos, it was kind of more calm. And I was mainly like Jack. I think yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. So I think like ever since they've kind of figured this out, where maybe they've also definitely had a play style change because they figured out how to play together. Like they're not just individuals playing anymore. Like they figured out how to play together. Like what's everybody's role? What's everybody best at? Mm. Like let's execute on that and like become the best team we can be as a unit. So ever since they've done that, they've honestly been like probably the best team in A. Um, it's tough to say that with G2 because I still probably might put G2 above them even to this day. Like, why is but, that? Like, because you're a player that it's plays just, it's against just them. the and... potential, bro. It's so like, you're taking well, the peak of you think Beast Mode, Atomic, and Dan is just like that's just scary. If they're playing good, they're gonna like you just you know what I mean. They feel like up into a lobby and you see Dan, Beast Mode, Atomic, like knowing, like, bro, knowing just like what those yeah. players can do is just like fuck. Like this is gonna be brutal. But like. Gen G obviously has like all three of those players, but it's way more just beatable in my mind. Like, uh, for whatever reason, I can't be first, but like Chronic, um, I, I'm like, uh, Chronic doesn't give me the same effect as like a Daniel, and then obviously Jack doesn't either. But I don't know, bro. They figured out a fucking like a play style because they, that third regional, they slapped, they slapped the fuck out of us. I can't lie. Um, and you could tell they're playing as a unit and they just figured something out as like a team. Yeah. And showing like they're beating everybody they play ever since they've kind of done this. Yeah, no, I think that's fair. I remember I think it was Gyro or somebody. Gyro said um he thinks that Jinji, like going into the season, was better as a team, but overall, like peak ability, he thinks G2 was like just ahead of everybody a lot. Like it was someone like that said that. And I don't know, maybe we're starting to see that. They just have that they've Jinji have found their little click and G2 still trying to find that, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. maybe yeah, that's something about G that who knows I, I doubt g2 doesn't have a quote-unquote play style yeah but it's just more noticeable from gen g like you can tell they're like more of a unit where g2 might just be like maybe their play style is you know using their individual strengths and obviously if you know they're not all playing great then it shows and they're not they won't be gen g but something changed with gen g they figured some something out recently it's obviously working yeah i mean i think I think if Dan, I mean, they would, they go to game five and Daniel played the worst Rocket League it looks like he's ever played. Yeah. So I don't think you're mad if you're G2. Um, but also, like, I don't know. What's your, are you still, are you still confident G2 can win it all? Like, do you think so? Yeah. You think they'll yeah, easily I, be able to pop off tomorrow? I think, I think most people have eyes on K Corp and now that they lost, obviously yeah. that's not the case. But I don't think, I don't think, I don't think your view on G2, like, winning this all should have changed at all. Yeah. Especially with, like, the only worry is if Daniel keeps this up. If Daniel doesn't start scoring, that might be an issue. But this is the – I think this is the first time we've ever seen Daniel just not score, right? Like, that is clearly an anomaly that shouldn't keep happening. So if Daniel can find his groove and they start playing how they should be, I think they'll be fine. But – yeah, no, nah, I totally agree. Someone in chat saying they think Daniel gets nervous. Like, guys, Daniel's won – does Daniel usually Daniel plays good on land, right? That's the thing. People call him yeah, Daniel. Daniel, dude. I mean, he won he's gamers eight. Yeah, he's had problems, but like definitely not. Not nothing like this. No, yeah, never. I wouldn't call him a nervous player where he's like yeah. that's an issue. Yeah, yeah. I think he just had an off day. All right, tapping into the last round two matchup of the day, we had K Corp losing to Falcons, and I think this is the talk of the uh, talk of the hour. Um, yeah, dude, Falcons. I mean, they win 4-0, they win 3-1, they come out, and, dude, they're on the next... I was saying on my stream, I was like, dude, this is another gear. Like, they look like they're in another gear, and K-Corp can't escape it. And then what do you know? K-Corp somehow just... They just can't, like, get tapped out. They win overtime, they win another overtime. Then we get an overtime in Game 5, and we finally see um, them get taken down. 
Uh, what was your guys' thoughts on this series? I mean, this is surely series of the day, right? I mean, this was dude. Insane. I thought this was like a grand final. I mean, this I don't know. This might be series. Great of the, series. This is dude. very likely series of the Swiss for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. yeah, that's fair. Yeah, it's gonna be honestly, hard to top it. I'm okay. Yeah, I'm okay with saying that only with day one. I, I mean, this was nuts, dude. I mean, you have probably like you could argue the two best teams in the tournament right now. I mean, I thought Falcons were gonna sweep it first, and then K Corp brought it all the way back just for a loss to have that dagger in game five OT. Like this was like this is this is like Rocket League, dude. Like this was perfect. So yeah. I mean, this was just a fun watch overall. And it was cool to see Falcons win. Like, I didn't really know, like I knew they were a good team. I didn't know what I expected. I did not expect them beating K Corp. I did not. I can tell you that. Neither straight. did I. But dude. they 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 performed, they wanted it. I mean, all three of them had just stellar days. So uh, yeah, good for them. No, I think um I think my take on it would be is Killers is I don't know why. I just I, every time I hear this team, I hear Rawas, I hear TRK. I hear Rawas is a beast in ones, and TRK's got some of the best potential in the world. His ceiling's insane. I feel like Kaleers, I just never hear. Is it because he doesn't play one show matches or or something? But I feel like that guy might be their best threes player. Is that a weird take, mm -hmm. or do you guys think with that? I don't hate that. I mean, I don't. Uh, they, they all do their I own thing, that. to be fair. I think. You see, that's like, I mean, I said this earlier, like, I think it's so hard to put like a best or worst title on these players. Like, I do think Kaleers is the least looked at because he's not in those one show matches. But from playing him and also just seeing him in other people's ranks games, uh, ranked games, that guy's a beast, dude. Like, I really think all three of these players like kind of trade being the best and being the worst. Like, I think all three of them are really good. Um, but I don't hate you saying that he's uh, their best three players. I don't, I don't hate that uh, by any means. Yeah, I mean, it just to me, it looked like they hit a gear that if they could have stayed in after game one and two, dude, it was like, it was like 4-0. And then the next game, they're up like 2-0 instantly. It's like, holy shit. It's like, this team is, dude, they were flying around and they couldn't even get the ball. It was like the, they were on offense like 80% of the game. K Corp would get one hit out and then they would get like, they won an overtime where Batira hits it off the wall off a counter and then they're not ready for it. And it's a quick goal. But I don't know, man, seeing that they, like, would they be your favorite? Okay, I guess here's a good question is, would they be your favorites? going into the rest of the land falcons or are you still leaning towards a k corp favorites i wouldn't put them as favorites like if you're going odds wise like nah I, you're I still rocking with them after they beat them yeah because the best of seven k corp uh you know i do think it was a little bit of advantage k corp played limitless and then they played falcons like that's a crazy jump where falcons played og and went to KC. That's not really that's much a good a point. Like, that's a good point. That's competitive yeah. to competitive to where limitless. That's like you know they could probably no offense, but screw, like win that without calming. So it's like a huge jump. Um, <laughs> and obviously yeah. they got caught off guard, but that was probably the first time like Carmine's ever been the team that's never set the pace. Yeah. And so that that was probably tough on them, but they were just I mean they were just getting out like they were just not the better team. Is kind of simple as that. No, nah, you're right. You're right. Um, Blitz, you got any more thoughts? Oh, no, that's uh, I, think, I, I do think it's funny that Congress said, like, no offense, and then said, like, the most offensive thing ever. I mean, it's how it is. <laughs> but, but, I mean, no, nah, I'm just, I'm just messing right, with it, but, I mean, over, overall, though, like, what <laughs> I will say... <laughs> I mean, I agree. I think they win without coming, too. So I'm I mean, you. look, man. Like, maybe they do, maybe they don't. But what I can tell you is, even though Falcons won, like, it's so hard to go against K-Court, but recency bias, maybe. But, I mean, I think... Falcons are 2-0 for a reason. As of right now, this exact moment before anything's played tomorrow, I think you kind of have to acknowledge the fact that they took down K-Corp, which most teams can't do. So that's yeah. kind of my take on it. Um, all right, so that wraps up, chat, our round one recap. Uh, remember, guys, we're all new to this. Uh, let us know if you guys like that type of segment and how we did it and how we can make it better. Like, I could talk to you guys in my own free time, but, guys, no bullshit. We put this together for, like, a week. We're, we're not done yet, but... You know what I mean? Kind of just rolling with it. Um, but yeah, we can jump into our predictions for tomorrow. You guys down? Yeah, let's do it. Um, so let's start with the, I say we start with the lower, then we work our way up. Oh, for sure. Um, elevate versus KCP. Now, I don't, I don't know, bro. I could, to my eyes, this goes either way and nor do I give a shit who wins it because I don't see this team going far either way. Is that bad to say? Mm -hmm. No, I agree. No. I mean, I think, I think the winner's out in round four. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you had to put your house hey, Casey, on the line, how about, what are we thinking? Hear me out. Yeah. Now, I hope there's no OC people in your chat, but oh, what if KCP lose? We take OC spot second. We take it away completely. Bro. <laughs> and I, I've been saying this in my chat. Chat, hear us out. Or hear, hear me out. Because I, I like what he just said. 
Every time the two seed from OCE goes to land, they literally go like 0 and 9. Every fucking time. Like, when are we? You know what I mean? Like, give a spot to EU. Make it more competitive. I don't care. Give it to somebody. Give it to the major region who does best. Or, like, I don't I, know. Maybe the there's team a that, system. Yeah. I think last split was perfect based because, like, everything was based around how your region performed. I don't know why they got rid of that. I think that's one of the best things that that has ever been implemented in any format ever. I think that's so awesome. That's so unique. Because God forbid, right, but if SSA start peaking, it doesn't matter. They get one spot at majors. They get one spot at worlds, right? Like, if Limitless somehow managed to win this major, they deserve some sort of reward for that. But no matter what, they're stuck with one. I do agree that that should definitely come back. But when it comes to this series right here, yeah, right, whoever wins probably goes one and one and three. But no, I got hot it. take? Yeah. I think Elevate's going to come out swinging. I think it's going to five. I think Elevate lose in five, but I think they're going to come out swinging, and I think it's going to be close, but I think Pioneers are still the better team. I'm just going to be All right, up there, but I, I did like what I saw with Elevate today. I think KCP win. That's the only reason I say that, because they're the, they're the favorites by a, a lot, in my opinion, so that's why it's like, if they lose that, yeah. You know. mm -hmm. Okay. All right, next yeah, one, cool. LG Limitless. I mean, folks, this might be series of the day. Uh, nah. <laughs> I'm going um, LG. If they get anything less than a, like, they need a big day and they need to come out hot because once they win this match, they are going to play one of the big dogs. And Power might be one of the easier teams. They can't play complexity, but Power's still good, and I still could see Power taking them to distance. You never know. But, yeah, I think we all agree LG should win this 3-0. Um, yeah, I mean, LG, LG are on their knees right now. Like, they, they truly, like, they cannot afford, I mean, I talked about it earlier, they cannot afford anything but a sweep. It has to be clean, it has to be nice, and they need that momentum to go into that round four, and they have to ride it because, like you said, man, it's not going to get any easier. Uh, I mean, it, it's it's rough. That's That mid-match, the worst team being power, that's not a great uh, sign. And like they can't, said, they like, can't they play complexity, play but yeah, they're yeah, going to play. There's a lot of teams in there. I mean, realistically, they'll probably play rule one, OG, um, you know, or power. So they're going to have a chance of playing one of these teams. But still... You know, still not guaranteed. But uh, Vitality OG, um, what are you thinking, Reed? Vitality OG. Yeah, you got Torment, I mean, Calm, JNAP, I, I Slowly. Love, I, I fuck with Tor. I mean, I, I don't have any problems with o like OG. Like, Torment's my boy. Obviously, JNAP's, like I could say, is like one of my better teammates I've ever had. Um, And I want them to win. But, like, just being realistic, Vitality hasn't even played great, but I still think they're playing good enough yeah, to... I be OG like OG hasn't done enough to make me sway the opinion as well as Vitality has not played shit enough to be like I can't see them winning this so I think it's close I actually do think it's close OG is a very good team like their unit and Vitality is not really like playing you know they don't have that fear factor like what said but I, no, I just I agree I could see five but I can't see like you know I can't see them losing to be honest no, I would yeah. go I go three one what about you Flitz yeah, I mean, I agree with Kago, but I disagree with the fact I don't think this is going anywhere near five. I love OG. Okay. I love the org. I love the players. I hope they do well. I think Vitality is still a really good team. 3-0, 3-1 at best. Like, uh, I think it's going to be 3-1. I think Vitality takes that. Okay, I mean, do you think Vitality, let's say OG lose this. Do you think they can make top eight? Or are you, like, based off what you've seen, are you like, uh, nah? Because, I don't know. Based off what I saw today, I don't know if I would have um, I, them beating Limitless think, is, like, in, you know yeah you know it's a little bit hard to tell because their only win right now is like with all due respect should that should be a win every time right um i think i think og can find themselves in a top eight but i don't know if i could see them getting any, anywhere past that at least right now yeah um uh, you know especially like i said the only thing I really have to base their win off of is a 3-0 with limitless um i would love to see them get that win against fatality but i just don't see it happening no i'm with it um power bds we can start going through these a bit quicker um yeah i'm taking bds in this straight up i would probably go three one i think power's good enough to get a game they did it off gen g um would you guys concur yeah three one's good for me i think they gotta win that first game otherwise it's a bds sweep yeah and i think that's fair um g2 rule one does g2 get any competition with this i can see g2 losing a game but like again we talked about like the rule one doesn't have enough offensive firepower to beat G2. Like, mm -hmm. and it's not like rule one's defense is like the best in the game either to balance that out. So, like, you got G2, it's just a fucking end of three headed monster that you know they can be. And then you got rule one who kind of is like lacking uh punch or like a, a 
perk or something that just makes them, you know, gives them that edge. So G2, 3 1. Yeah, you know, I don't then. think unless Ahmed's playing peak Ahmed, Khaled's fucking winding the years back, um, and Nupo's playing insane. I don't think, um, I think Nupo's the only one doing anything like we said earlier, and they're going to have to have way better because this team has three stars that can easily take it. KC versus Complexity. Um, I personally, I don't know, Flitz, what do you think? You can go first. KC Complexity, I mean, look, I think Complexity looked good. I mean, we talked about Complexity before. I don't know if Dorito was the right pickup, and I don't think it's going to be the pickup that beats KC. I mean, you just have to go with them here. I do think they take a game, but KC 3-1, they move on to 2-1. Yeah, I like that. Um, Reed, what do you think? 3-1 as well? Would you take them, or do you think they can go farther? Maybe game five? Uh, I could maybe see it going five if they get the game one. Um, maybe, I don't know, KC comes out sleeping. I doubt they do. I see 3-1 or better. Uh, again, like this Cole team just doesn't have the same firepower that they used to have. Yeah, no, I, Crum, we, we agree. Rays Bowl played good. We thought Rays Bowl was one of the best performers of the day. Um, all right. So after that, we got Furia Genji. Now, dude, I don't know. This is going to be a hell of a match. These upper matches are going to be good. These I think. Two tie-ins. These are two tight. Yeah. Right I mean, now. you got a Furia with loss dropping an average rating of like one, four, and then you got um, Yan playing good. Jorfino's playing good. They're confident. And then they're playing Gen.G. Now, they did just beat Vitality. I would low-key probably go in this one. I mean, I think this goes to five. And I could yeah, see a great. coin flip for who, who goes 3-0. Um, but this is a big series because you get the one seed or two seed. So you're playing one of the seven or eight seeds that qualify, guys. Um, what do you guys think? Who would you take in game, uh, I guess, game five if you had to take one? Yeah, I mean, if, I think if Fury is playing how they did today, I think I'm going to have to go with them. But I think it's almost impossible to keep up. I mean, not even statistically, but just, like, how solid they were looking. Like, maybe I'm wrong, but I think that's the best Fury's ever played. And I think they're going to play well tomorrow. I think Genji's going to play a little bit better. I think Genji's You don't think they're going to keep up that hot streak? Yeah. I think, it, I think it's so I think hard. that's fair. I, I really do. I, I think Loss is playing out of his mind, and I'd love to see him keep it up. I just don't know if he can. Yeah, that's fair. Reed? I got Genji 3-1. Yeah, so Reed's taking 3-1. Yeah, Genji, something, Genji's kind of got that, like, thing where they're playing really well, and I don't feel like a lot of people, a lot of people are talking about them. So it's kind of like, I don't know. They they got through the day 2-0, beat G2, like, one of their, you know, their rivals, and now they're going to be even more comfortable. They're going to be even more, like, just feel at home. They're going to get even more confidence. So, again, uh, yeah, Genji 3-1. Shout out, U.S. Yeah. Hey, America. Hey, we ain't biased. We ain't biased. Um, NA, NA 3 0, no biggie. Our <laughs> yeah. region's better. Where the fuck's K Corp, eh? Uh, oh, man. Um, I mean, then we got, Ma I will say, of all the EU teams, I did not expect Mates to be the one in the upper. Plus one. Yeah. Plus, yeah. Uh, they shocked me, but do they beat Falcons? Because based off what I've seen, it's like you have a consistent team that's playing good as in Mates all together as a unit. And then you have three players that are like superstar pop off. I now don't I, Juicy can obviously pop Seiko and them, um, but do they match up with the ceiling that we're seeing out of Falcons right now? Nah, Falcons win three one. Three one. I think I think this is you know mate has been playing great, but I don't see them winning. Uh, I think you just have to go Falcons here. Yeah, I would I go three one as well. But I'm gonna go three one, yeah. Falcons is so gross, bro. Just they're thinking so about good. that team. Like they they have actually like they're a three headed monster right now. They're all it's like G two if G two was all fire and you're like, bro, how like how many teams can beat this version of Falcons, you know? Yeah. Definitely. Like, it's just they're they're feeling a bit right now. Um, so that is our predictions. And then uh chat, this was shot of the day we had. Um uh, Reed, why do you think this shot was so damn big? Kind of spoke on it a little okay. bit earlier. Yeah, I was talking about it earlier, but this is a huge game. It's game three of Complexity Luminosity. And actually, Luminosity kind of found their footing, like, to be honest. They did not look great all day. It's no secret. But they were looking really, really good in this game. This looked like the Luminosity that was kind of, like, going through the regionals. They were starting to gain some steam. But then, you know, as momentum shifts and momentum controls Rocket League, Ray's Bull, CRR, hard pass out. Now, this corner tap... Bro, look where it hits the corner. That is a ridiculous yeah, read. Yeah, it's a hard read, bro. Read. The finish is like a skin that goes 126 kph top slot. Like, that, that is, like, unreal how he scored that, that read, everything. Boom, momentum shifts. Complexity's like, vamos. They went and on to win this, what, 3-1? 3-1. Yeah, 
They yeah, won the next they won, two games. They won the next game. Like it wasn't even competitive. It was over by the first minute. Like that's yeah. the next game. I mean, I think just, that I agree. I think it was shot of the day. It was huge momentum, and it took over the uh, the series for them. Um, yeah, and it was. I mean, even sh- like series aside, it was just gross. Straight yeah, gross. It was a nice shot. That's what race ball does. Yeah, that was pretty disgusting. Um. All right, I think what we're going to do, our last thing of the day. Guys, we are new to this, and we didn't plan on going over like an hour and a half, so we're going to try to cut it up quick um, because we do have to wake up early and stuff for the watch party tomorrow. But um, last thing, I guess, would be who would be your guys' ones to watch for tomorrow? Like, if you had to pick one player where you're like, this guy is going to like either break, make this team um, and can do next-level things for them, or what do you guys think? Who are your ones to watch, your one player? We'll each give one. Hmm. let's take it away oh man i mean i can rip i I can rip it first i can rip it first um you know you you start us off kev because i'll I'll, I'll wait i'll wait do i want to be basic is the question because like i know people are saying daniel because daniel did have a 0.3 day one of the worst days i've ever seen honestly no he might be it he might be the guy that yeah he only can go up though that's fair with reed like reed said um i think he's that's a lame pick i'm gonna go um Bro, I want to go with Kaleers, but I don't know. Ocalid? You guys are saying Ocalid and... Nah, bro, I think Kaleers is honestly like a super... I don't... Actually, that's just too basic, bro. All three of them played good. I mean, I don't know. Someone else go, bro. I don't even know. Banana Head, that's a good one, bro, if they want to keep alive. I'm going to go Lost, though. I think Lost is a good one. Dropping a 1.7, I think he was a huge reason of why they did good. And um, I think, to, in my opinion, Lost was the... Uh, him and, yeah, look at top two on stats, dropped a 1.3 like you touched on. And one of the series, he had a 1.7 against LG. So if he keeps that up, I think um, they can go on to beat um, in the upper Gen.G. So I think Loss is my key player to watch tomorrow. If he can keep that stat, these stats up, because that's insane. What about you guys? If you had a big one. I think if I... Other? Yeah, I'll take this one. I, you know, I wanted to go lost, but I've been kind of glazing them all stream, so I'm going to leave them alone for a little bit. Yeah. Um, I would go where lost, but I don't think Falcons is going to be that much to watch. I think they're just going to roll. So instead, I'm going to go with, yeah. I'm going to go with Drawley because I think Drawley. Drawley, earlier, that's a good one. I think he's very hit or miss, right? I, I see Drawley as a player who, if he's on, I think he can change that BDS team completely. I agree with you, Kev. You talked about that earlier. I think if he's not on, though, I think he can do a lot of damage, a lot of harm to that team. And their first, their first series is against Power, which they should take care of, let's be realistic. But after the fact, I think Drawley needs to stay on in order to help them get into that playoff spot. And yeah. I like what I've seen uh, in most of the regionals. I think today could have been a little bit better. Um, but overall, I think he really is a player that changes a lot. And I still think Mungmin's best on that team, but I think Drawley has a lot of influence on how they finish. Yeah, so I, mean, I want to play Power off the rip, off. so if he comes out high, I mean, tomorrow's a huge day, guys. Remember, you're either top eight tomorrow or you're not top eight. So it's a huge day. These players need to play good. Um, Reed, who would you take as your uh, one to watch? My like, one to watch? See, this is tough because, like, my one to watch is going to be based off someone I think that's quality in the top eight. So... I would love to pick Rays Bowl, but I don't know if they're going to make it. So that aside, I honestly, this might be a little bit homer bias, but give me Atomic. Ooh. Honestly, I okay. think I like Atomic that. is obviously, it's it's hard to talk about all of G2, but I think Atomic just is the least talked about when you're on a team with Beast Mode and Daniel. And I experience always playing with Atomic. He always feels like one of the best players at LAN. Um, yeah. That guy spelled bias wrong, by the way. Yeah, don't read that. I don't know why that guy's side of that. But that no, I you That's teamed awkward. with the guy, and like there's times where he just straight up takes over a series, and you're like, dude, we're not losing this shit, no, probably. Yeah, Atomic. The thing is, I think Atomic doesn't have to do that, obviously, as much as he might have used to. Yeah. Um shout out me, but uh I think he's just gonna <laughs> do what he needs to do. He needs to finish when he's gonna finish. He's gonna just play uh like lights out ball. There's nothing too like too much with it. I think, you know. Daniel might not be his normal self. He might be gaining confidence, but Atomic's going to take the reins and, you know, help that team just push him over the edge. You know, come out hot versus Rwanda. I think they go 2-0 in the day. And then the team's confidence just excels. Uh, and I'm not going to say it's because of Atomic, but I'm going to say Atomic's going to, you know, be yeah. that team's clinical finisher that they need or just be that team's all-around player. That's going to really be their backbone. I mean, I think that's fair. Um, so we got, we got Drawley. Dude, I got dementia. Who the fuck did I pick? Yeah. I got lost. That's lost. And uh, we gotta come back tomorrow and look at the day two ratings. You know. Ooh, that's a good shout. Um, like so that. 
So, fellas, that is pretty much all we had in store tonight. We are new to it. Um, we did want to do a section where we bring you guys in a call and ask us a question. But we have been live like an hour and 40-some minutes, and I've streamed like 13 hours a day. Um, and we also do got to wake up early as shit again. But, yeah, man, what'd you guys think overall? What'd you guys think? Our first time doing it. We formed it this week. I got the graphic made. Dude, I asked Flitz, what, two days ago? I was like, yeah, yeah. what up? I was like, are you trying to be on this shit? <laughs> It's like, are you watching the major? I'm like, I think so. He's like, you want to do this? I was like, ah. Oh, yeah. Because we wanted somebody that like talks and knows shit, you know? Mm -hmm. But also, this is the first time we've ever done it. Guys, we made up how we're going to go about it literally like an hour before it. Um, but yeah, pretty much All we right. wanted to be... Go ahead, Reed, go ahead. I have a question. Chat, who would y'all want to see if there was like a guest? Like a pro player, a coach, like anyone yeah. from the scene? Because like... Again, we're just trying to, you know, not make it interviewee. It might sound interviewee, but over time it's going to get better. But, like, who's someone where you think they could genuinely provide good content, but also be, like, you know, like, nose ball? Because we don't want someone, like, okay, I see a lot of people saying Turbo, I agree. But, like, Turbo, I don't know if Turbo watches he the He doesn't give majors. a fuck. He doesn't give a fuck. So, there might be <laughs> someone that we don't know, like, genuinely, who's, like, you know... We want someone. Sathu is not a bad shout. Ball. Sathu Garrett. Sathu I mean, those good. guys are good. I mean, guys, yeah. we don't mind having on like more people than just like us. Like this was just like we plan on doing this tomorrow and seeing how it goes. Uh, miss, no one's saying your name, dog. Um, Arsenal. Did anybody say Miss? Oh. Hey, someone did. I, a I lot of people. Actually, a lot of people were playing. But also, miss. we don't want. Yeah, we don't want oh. this to be like an interview. We kind of want it to be like we're shooting the shit, talking about each match, and however it goes is however you know what I mean. Wherever we take us with our questions and shit. Um, but yeah, I do. I don't want to. I also want to talk about like news and stuff. But I don't know, man. First, first time doing it. I thought it went pretty decent. Um, and shout out to Flitz and uh, Chicago for hanging out with us today. They'll probably be back with us. Um, I mean, shit, bro. We plan on doing this like tomorrow night. Um, Flitch, trying to do it tomorrow. Gotcha, man. Uh, but yeah, we plan on doing this shit. If you guys want to follow them, go follow them, man. They're, uh, I know Reed did a watch party day Chicago. Flitz streams like in the afternoon, plays ranked every day. So uh, yeah, man, follow them, guys. Um, and yeah, how do we, uh, how the fuck do we go about signing out? <laughs> Cause uh, appreciate all y'all. Uh, it was little, it was, that was fun. You know, it was a good time. I think it was pretty good for our first time. A lot of oh, shit yeah. went really wrong, but, uh, yeah. shout out to y'all for watching. I hope y'all liked it and, uh, we'll be it's back. It's only going to get better. better than ever. It should yeah, only, only get better because I thought it was the other way around. But...